Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do a complete clean factory reset of your Dell Latitude D620 on your Windows 10 computer. So hopefully this should be a pretty quick and easy tutorial for you guys. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the star menu. And you want to type in reset. Best match should say reset this PC right above system settings. Left click on that to open up a screen that looks like this. And it might take a second to load the page, so be patient. Underneath reset this PC, if your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall Windows. Left click on get started here. Now two options. First one, keep your files, which will remove apps and settings, but keeps personal files. Second option removes everything, true factory reset, removes all your personal files, apps, and settings. The first option here, even though it says keep my files, I think it's a little misleading. I would still recommend creating a backup of any personal files or documents on your computer onto a USB flash drive or some sort of external media. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to remove everything. So I'm going to select that option. And once you're doing that, you're going to come to another screen here that's going to ask you want to clean the drives too. Most people just remove your files is going to be the ideal option unless you're going to be donating or giving your computer to somebody else. In that case, I would suggest to remove files and clean the drive. But for most people watching this video, just removing your files will be sufficient. So select that option. And then we will have one further prompt here. Resetting will remove all personal files and user accounts on this PC all apps and programs and any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on reset, let the process begin, be patient, this will take some time. And once we get back to some further prompts to explore, I will be back.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay, everybody, looks like the factory reset has been successful, and our Dell Latitude D620 computer has been factory restored. So, hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out. Would recommend at this point in time, if you had any programs you wanted to put back on here, put them back on. Create a restore point as well, and a backup probably wouldn't hurt for good measure as well, just so you can get back to this restored state at a further time. 
So it's always good practice to have restore points as well, just in general. But I do hope I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.